okay about the standards of this with the NATO 40M of this this chassis usually is outstanding on receive performance. What you're hearing off the signal generator is just is one microvolt. This set will do better than 0.5. The manufacturer says so. If I switch the generator to 0.5. We've lost the signal. So it's either faulty or it's well out of alignment. So we'll start with Transformer 5. And Transformer 5 is the one up there. Ah, that's improved. I'll back off the attenuator. Just try it with no tone because these sound meter works better sometimes that way, despite having a notch filter. Then we'll move to the second one for receive, which is Transformer 6. Oh, that's come up brilliantly. Yes, it was just it's just been screwdrivered. I'm not surprised having seen where the transmit deviation was. The next one is T seven. Then we move over to T eight. We'll put the tone on for those. Transformer nine. And finally, Transformer ten. I'm just going to backtrack on all those because it was so far out. That's fabulous. And what you're hearing there is just under 0 0.1 of a microvolt. My attenuator goes to 0 0.06, so that's 0 0.09, 0 0.08, 0 0.07, 0 0.06, and then I'm off my clock. That's off, that's off the scale. Now, as I came to this set, do you remember how it hurt? I said it was like on one microvolt, and I'll switch to one microvolt, and that's quite a solid signal. So we've brought all that more gain. So that's all by being screwdrivered by some Wally. Right, so that's now restored the receive to perfect working order, because these are very sensitive sets. And we'll just check, if we go to S9, we'll just set up the um, detector and the detector on these radios is transformer 11 and transformer 11 is just there just lurking there I'll just switch the other camera on move the light off it we're on the left hand oscilloscope I'll turn the volume up for a little better trace and move my head out of the way and we're looking for maximum recovered audio look at that brought that up a mile so it would have been distorted on receive as well oh we're doing wonders with this one so it may just be a tune-up but it just shows how far out it's become for obvious reasons now while we're on 100 microvolts 
we'll make sure the S meter is reading S9. I can't even see the needle. Get the magnifying glass on it. Oh, it's pegging the scale, that's why. Uh, the adjustment for signal meter is RV2, and RV2 is there. That's now reading S9. That brings us to squelch. Turn off the signal generator, set the squelch threshold on the radio. And now we'll switch the signal generator back on and see where it comes in. Well, it's come straight in and we're at 0 0.3 of a microvolt. Now we advance the squelch control on the radio to full. And then we turn the signal generator attenuator for less attenuation. See when it comes in. Well, it never comes in. So we need to adjust the squelch. And the squelch preset is RV5, which is just there. So I'll carefully move that until that now comes in. And there we have that. Now do that test again. So we've got now we're at full squelch on the radio. A vast signal generator is coming in at 300 microvolts, which is about plus 20 signal, which is fine. But now we need to just check the bottom end again. So I've switched the generator off, squelch down to nothing, set threshold. There we go. Switch the generator back on, and it's still coming in at 0.3 microvolts. So we're set up, we've got the sensitivity on the squelch. And it will actually come in with some signal, which is more than it did before. So that was totally out of alignment, and we've now restored that to a very good working radio. Now, this has got a clear or normal switch on the transmit side of things, so I'll just see what that sounds like. I've got a monitor receiver by my side. At the moment, we're in normal. Testing one, two, three, four, five. And now we'll switch that to clear. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. So it's kind of like a speech processor thing on that. Uh, but there we are. Right, that's set up. I'll put it back together and I'll do an on the air video.